Marina Lewis has worked and lived in Russia and knows the system intimately. Dana, thanks for taking time out from what I presume is a holiday. What is your initial impression of what's happening? Well, I think it's very serious, Adnan. I mean, he is a, as you said, he is the prime opposition figure uh, in Russia. And, you know, all trails will point to the authorities if indeed he has been poisoned. And I think that, you know, his press sec secretary who has been with him, who has been traveling with him, uh, Kira Yarmish, has tweeted a, a number of times today, and I've been following her tweets, and she is saying, we assume that he was poisoned with something mixed into his tea. Uh, th that is the only thing that he drank this morning. The doctors say that the toxin to use her words, was absorbed more quickly because of the hot liquid. And right now, Alexei is unconscious and he is in a coma, according to her information. Uh, and there are police all over the hospital as they uh, begin their investigation, their state investigation. They have also asked to see all of his luggage and personal belongings and going through all of that. And I think there may be some effort on those uh, who are close to Alexei Navalny to try and get him out of Russia and move him to another hospital somewhere in Europe. A number of Russian journalists who have criticized uh, the Kremlin and President Vladimir Putin, they have died in the past few years. Alexander Litvinenko, poisoned with polonium, the British government says, while in London. A former Russian spy, Sergei Skripal, obviously in Salisbury a couple of years ago, and Sergei Skripal, a former spy, and his daughter as well. How much of a danger do people like this, who don't toe the line anymore, people like Navalny, how much of a danger do they realistically pose to those in power in Russia? Well, politics is a blood sport in Russia. Uh, Boris Nemtsov, uh, who was a former deputy prime minister who headed up one of the main opposition parties to add to your list, was shot outside the Kremlin. Anna, Pol Anna Polakovskaya, a journalist who did a lot of investigations into the military uh, and, and into Chechnya, was shot outside her apartment building. Um, you know, I talked to the uh, w the former prime minister of R Russia, Mikhail Kesyonov, uh, a couple of hours ago, and he said, look, uh, Navalny knew the threat. Uh, he knew the danger. Uh, did he let his guard down? That, that's a question, but no doubt in Kesyonov mi uh, Kesyonov's mind uh, that he has been poisoned, although Kesyonov is abroad right now, I understand, when I, when I spoke to him. But absolutely, these people... Uh, pose an increasing threat to the Kremlin because of the, the digitization, the internet across Russia. And if you take a look at Navalny's site, the, the website, I mean, there are some pretty incriminating investigations on there that come very, very close to Putin's inner circle, uh, the former prime minister Medvedev, for one, and his assets and holdings and villas abroad, uh, Dmitry Peskov, the spokesman for the Kremlin, uh, you know, how expensive his watches are, the, the vacations he took and the, and the yachts he's rented that go well beyond the, the official salaries of anybody in Putin's inner circle. So uh, his investigations have touched on so many, so close to President Putin, that indeed he has been considered a big threat. And he continues continues to campaign, even uh, in, in with what's going on in Belarus, he is saying that, you know, Litvin, um, Lukashenko's Lukashenko. election uh, is illegitimate and he's backing the people that are, are rising up against him in Belarus. And he says this will come to Russia, too. So he is a threat to so many. Uh, Dana, briefly, if Navalny were to die, what might that do to the opposition movement? Well, I think it may galvanize them even further. Uh, these things don't tend to make people go away. It tends to bring more people out in support uh, of them. And, and it's going to put a lot of pressure on President Putin, I think. I mean, he, he is going to have to get to the bottom of this very quickly, or the shadow will be cast over the presidential administration in the Kremlin, in, in, and suspicions will lie in that direction. Yeah, and certainly hours now after this news broke, there's still been no official reaction from the Kremlin. Dana, once again, thank you so much indeed. Dana Lewis speaking to us from France.